My hotel actually has free breakfast, so I went ahead and got a cereal and toast. It was pretty good for cereal and toast. I'm going to a couple different parks today. We're gonna check out the closest one first. I've just found this beautiful place down here to walk by this little stream. Let's go down there, because it looks like it will take us to the park. All right, I'm about to finally actually arrive at the first park. It was only supposed to take me like 20 minutes to get here, but I kept stopping and looking at things and filming. It's been like 50 minutes and it's right up here. Looks like there's gonna be a big pond and a fountain. This is the Yonji Park. I don't know what this park says. I believe it's a big duck. I see a beak and an eye, maybe a little hat and a backpack. He looks cute, but he's kind of falling over. I'm naming him Dumpy the Duck. I know that sounds bad. It's not because he's dumpy looking, it's because he's got a big fat dumpy, like most dogs. All right, we reached the end of this park, so let's head on to the next one. The Ginhei History Museum, which unfortunately is closed today, but we'll just have to walk right past that one. Absolutely no idea what this is, but it's pretty impressive. Pretty cool. Huge bell in there. Okay, this sign translated says that this is the Imhei Citizen's Bell, and it was built to inherit the will or something from the kingdom of Gaia. Looks like there's a bunch of tombs around here. Very gorgeous spot on top of this hill. It says these are tombs. There's people buried in there from a long, long time ago. I guess all these are tombs. Everywhere that has the rectangular plants around them. There's some more down there. Wow, this sign here says that these were buried in the fourth century. That's the year 300 to 400. That is old. That's very, very, very old. So I saw a sign that said something about a gate. Kimhei gate. I think I found something. So the sign says that this one's the north gate of the wall of Kimhe. The wall was built in the 1400s, long time ago, but not much remains of it. Thing is, like, it's just got random chairs in front of it. There's just a bunch of cars parked out in front of it. It's not really like being set aside as like cool tourist attraction. There's just a bunch of crap around it. I think I went through downtown Kimhe. There were so many shops and stores and people. And I didn't film much of it because my feet were getting tired. I'm like, oh my God, and it's hot. But there were a lot of foreigners around suddenly, like out of nowhere. Let's go see if this uh, tomb is accessible. See what's through this gate. Looks like this dude was from 42 AD. That is almost 2,000 years old. That's old.
I was just passing by on my way out of a tomb and suddenly hit with this powerful floral smell. It's this tree. It smells incredible. Man, that's awesome. Just sat down here to rest my feet and right in front of me, I didn't notice it until I sat down. Beware of snake sign. We're back in snake area. So this one is the stilt house and this one is the pit house. These ones were recently built. I'm not sure exactly when, but they were built to the exact specifications that were used during the Gaia period. So they should be exactly the same. That's a big boy. This park is cool. There's a lot to see here and I definitely haven't seen it all. I'm just exhausted, man. I just rode across a country. <laughs> I mean, it's been a long time. I started that on the third, it's, it's the 23rd. It's been 20 days since I started cycling and cycle almost every day. My body is tired. I think I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go to the nearest train station, check out their station, see if it's any different than Daegu and Seoul, and then head back to the room, eat my chicken, take a bath and relax. I don't know yet if it's all over Busan or just here in Kimhae. The station seem to be above ground. They're not a subway. Later. So a few weeks ago, I noticed that the this part down here on the remotes and hotels, this all controls the air conditioner. But I was translating things this morning, just trying a different app I found. And I learned that these ones control the lights. Watch. Isn't that crazy? Oh, this thing just controls everything in the room. I've never seen something like that. It's pretty cool. Tomorrow for sure. Well, guys, this is it. Today is the end of the cycling trip across Korea. Just checked out. I stayed at Hotel Gracias here in Kimhae. And it was easily the best hotel I've stayed in in Korea for sure. It was amazing. I only paid like less than $30. I don't know if it was so low because it had no reviews on Airbnb and maybe they're trying to bump the reviews up. That's common. First thing today, we've got to get across Kimhae, which isn't so fun. Oh, there's a cat. We'll just have to slowly and safely make our way across this city until we meet back up with the actual Four Rivers Path. I'm currently cycling on the path that I walked yesterday to get to the park. It is so freaking easy. There's no crosswalks, there's no crazy bumps. I wish I would have cycled this when I came into the city. Got his bags. Having a good day, dude. Don't know what this stone is. The name of whatever this place is probably. We're almost there, guys. I mean, back to the path. We're through pretty much the worst of it. There's one more bad section, but I think that's all the way to avoid it last time. This has not been that bad. But we're all right. I'm almost positive this road right here will just take me by the worst part. Yeah, look how long it is. If I had to turn around and go back, oh well, let's try it. All right, I just checked the map. I'm sure I'm saying this wrong, but it looks like the end is on Ulsukdo Island. <laughs> it's uh, an island right down by the sea, right where the river lets into the sea. It goes all the way. It's almost too perfect. We're going by a golf course right now. I hope at the very end, it's just a big golf course. <laughs> Dude, the area I've been cycling all this time where there's all these trees surrounding the path and like 
where I just was. Something about the way the road is built there, I couldn't get any speed. I kept thinking like, are my tires flat or something? And checking, and I like, know it's fine. Now I cross the street, I'm on a different area. The path is made with something else. It's so much easier now. Guys, that's the end. That bridge right there, we cross that. And then this little island, I don't know if you can easily tell, but that's an island right at the beginning of the island, not that deep in, is the final certification point. We can see it almost there. Oh my God, I see it. <laughs> Dude, there it is. That's the end. Oh my God, I made it. <laughs> There's a certification channel. Oh, that's insane. There's the gate, we just came through it. There's nobody here. Thought there could be some other people finishing. Just me. Here's a certification center. Last one, let's do it. There it is, the last stamp right there. Incredible, absolutely incredible. Guys, this is crazy. This is honestly something that even a year ago, I couldn't have imagined myself doing. I cycled across an entire country. It might be a small country, but I did it. I did it the way I wanted to do it. I could have done it a lot faster, but I did it slow. I took my time, I saw a lot, and I took you guys along with me. I really hope you enjoyed the journey. This has been absolutely incredible. Welcome, welcome to Busan. I have to let it out, it feels crazy. I didn't know what it would feel like when I reached the end, but it's good. <laughs> It would be more fun if there were other people with you. If you don't do it alone, I think, you can all kind of celebrate together, but being able to talk to you guys about it, I can let it out. So it feels really, really good. I'm gonna look around here a little bit and then track to the Airbnb. It's not that far away, I don't think. I still have an hour and a half and then she said I could check in. I'm sure I'll arrive right around there or a little bit after that. I didn't even see this one at first, the finish line. 633 kilometers, So honestly more than that because I went off into cities and I knew it was gonna be more than that. I'd love to know how much I actually did but I didn't track it like that. Whatever, it doesn't matter. At a minimum, 633 kilometers, crazy. Okay, this has been awesome, but we gotta move on. I'm trying to track the Airbnb now. She gave me tons of directions. She's a really, I think a really good host, but she thinks I'm coming on the subway. She didn't give me the exact address. She gave me like, here's the subway line. And she sent pictures and everything, like walk here, turn here, go here, which is great, but I'd rather just track the address. I'm gonna track that subway station for now, but I think it's more out of the way than where I actually need to go. Worst comes to worst, I just end up at the station and then follow the pictures she sent. But uh, she's normally really responsive, so let's see. A few inches later. Guys, it's actually pretty nice. It's not bad at all. Reminds me a lot of my one in Incheon, but with more space and not on the ground. That's really nice. And the bathroom. Pretty good, I mean, it's totally fine. Not bad. Oh, there's the shower. Yeah. Okay, I wanna show you guys something absolutely amazing. If you've never been to Korea, you're not gonna think this is amazing, but it, it is amazing. The hardest thing about being an American who, uh, admittedly America could definitely do way better with recycling is separating trash in Korea. I'm actually pretty used to it now after being here for a month. But when you first come to Korea, it's actually a little confusing and hard to figure out, especially considering everything's written in Korean. Look what this host has done. They have these in English, so you know exactly where to put things and a food waste bucket as well which i'm gonna probably leave my food waste in the freezer so it doesn't start to stink but on the last day i can put it in there and then oh, so nice so simple so easy Well, all right guys, we are in Busan. I do think I'm a little on the outskirts. Probably did that on purpose so it was easy to get there. I don't remember, I booked this so long ago. I don't know what I was thinking at the time, but I like the area, it's not bad. I'm so hungry, I literally can't focus on anything else. I want to explore around, but I need to eat first. Yep, 
I found Mom's Touch. It's very close. I haven't had it in days, and the last time I tried, they were closed for no reason, so I gotta give it another shot. It's just right up here around the corner. Just looking out the window, I noticed it's looking pretty nice. I had a pretty long nap, I feel a lot better. And I woke up to see a uh, golden hour starting out there. I did do a lot of research as well. I screenshot a lot of stuff. In the morning when I'm more awake, I'll put together a proper plan and head out early. I'm just really tired. Uh, I really expected actually that I would go out this afternoon and do stuff like, oh, I'm gonna have plenty of time my first day in Busan. But yeah, I'm probably gonna sleep early tonight, get a lot, of, uh, a lot of rest and then hit it hard for the next few days before heading to Japan. For now, I'm just gonna enjoy this view from the window, however. Just take it in. There's no reason that every moment needs to be something crazy. Sometimes it can just be a calm, beautiful view of sunset over the buildings. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Keep wondering.